All right, boys and lasses, welcome back to my channel. It is good to see you. And I'm here today with a informational video, as you've seen from the title. We are here today to polish and lace our Doc Martens 70s slash 80s punk style. Now, this is not a uh, this is how you should day it video. This is just a uh, this is how I day it. You can copy it if you want. So what you want to first do is delace your boots up taking the liberty of delacing this one i've got another one over there and i'll teach you how to lace that if you're really looking for that kind of 70s and 80s look so i want you to grab your brushes rags boot polish and your preferred polishing style i'm not here to tell you how to do something i'm here to tell you how i do it and how i personally do things I'm just trying to remember where the hell i left it all right first thing you want to do as i said delace your boots and then go over your boots just to muck off any surface dirt and if there's any dry pieces a little spit on the finger give a little wash and make sure once you've delaced it get inside the boot because these corners right here right at the top bottom of the tongue they collect dust and a decent bit of it I'm gonna get that out of there Almost kicked the boot at you. My bad. All right. So now we're ready. Now you can use the boot uh, brush on, brush off. Uh, I personally, I personally use the rag, rag on, brush off. So rag on, brush off is where well, it's that. It's kind of obvious, really. You use a rag to put on the polish. Now, as you can see, my boots are a cherry red color. You can get the black or the green or the whatever color Doc Martin are putting out. I went for this color because my mom said this was her preferred color back in the 70s and the 80s. It was my uncle's preferred color as well. My dad also said he knocked them, mind you, from him, mind you, but still. <sighs> All right, so make sure you get a decent, evenish coating around the boot. So I personally do it in stages. You can get some people to try and do like three things at once. I'm hoping you're I'm going to move this a little bit just so you can catch everything. So. I give a liberal coating around the tongue and the toe of the boot. Now I'll get to the tongue in a wee second. Now, hopefully you can see that. I'll try and do that whole makeup artist bullshit. You shouldn't need a lot on your rag. Just three, maybe four loops on your polish and it'll be fine. And that should be enough to coat your wee sections readjust my rag and we go to the back now the back now, if you've worn them, now wearing, if these are brand new, you don't need to do this. Wearing the boot is obviously where you've worn it for a decent amount of time, and they'll have stretch lines in them like mine do. With me, I just kind of pull the boot towards me, and that seems to get around those stretch marks. Now, this section, kind of get it fast in there. Kind of gives the polish a decent bit of chance, because if you muscle it in, Gives it half a chance to actually get into the grain of the leather. Actually, do something about it. All right, let's get onto the tongue. All right, so you might have a bit of a problem. So it's up to you. You don't have to do the tongue. I prefer to. I'm gonna get up here as well. more 
because obviously you don't want to just polish like the around the boot and leave the tongue because the tongue's part of the boot probably one of the more important parts because it's what gives you that classic look all right we set this one aside let me go grab our other boot this is the boot i didn't delace so i have done an effect and i'll teach you how to do this if you don't know i've done an effect called straight lacing or some people call it the ladder i prefer straight lacing mind you so what you want to do delace it now everyone knows how to delace a boot so i don't need to teach you how to delace one and you'll understand once i show you how you do it you'll understand how delacing this works so put the laces somewhere once again grab our brush Again, grab our rag and we're ready to go. Now, I will say, because obviously there is the occasional person who will probably, and I can't say it will happen, so I probably won't mention it, but nah, I won't mention it. I will say, however, obviously this video is a lot lighter than my la the last time I showed my face on camera. <laughs> Alrighty. I will say, when I looked at the, the video comments that some people left, which I was very touched by those who left kind messages... Uh, one person did leave messages that weren't kind, and I, I don't know if it was that person. Could have been. Who knows? Who gives a rat's ass, if I'm going to be honest? But I will say, they did antagonize me by saying I should call the police and that they were going to ruin me. So, what did I do? I deleted their comments and blocked their ass. Mind you, they could have just—they straight could have just grabbed another account because obviously that's easy to do nowadays. They just throw up another email and go, "Hi, I'm not the same person that done bad things." Miss a spot. No, I called myself a polisher. <laughs> All right. Once again, something. We'll drive it. All right. In case you're wondering what this rag is, it was an old shirt. It was a shirt that was too small for me. So I just ripped a section off and went, screw it, you'll do. Because I didn't have, I only had one brush because they only had one left in the shop. So I thought, screw it, I ain't going home with no brush. I need one to polish the damn boot in the first place. So my dad gave him, told me, either take an old shirt or go find something that you know your mom's not going to mind you tearing apart. To become your polish rag. So I found a shirt that I knew was too small for me that I was going to throw out anyway. I thought, screw it, you'll do. All right. Yeah, I should do. All right, now we're done. We put the rag away for now. 
grab our first boot. Well, actually, we'll get rid of this. And we can straight up. Now, as I said, now if you've never polished boots before, then you're more than welcome to try my method. If you don't like it, go out there and find the method you like. There are so many methods out there. This is just one of them. It's probably one of many. It's always one place I t take a decent amount of care at, mostly because it's the place that gets a decent amount of uh, damage. You know, I'm not going to say that mine's are perfect. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the light. Hopefully you can. There is a gash right there. Put just the... Nah. I think you can just barely... S there it is. Right there. You see it? Right there. The big old gash. And it, it was worse than this, I will admit. But it has been getting better. Because I've been trying to take care of them. Because I've been actually taking because I've been taking care of them. Alright. And once again. Tongue pieces. You open up your flaps. Grab your tongue from underneath. Now, grabbing the tongue, you're putting your hand in the boot, and you're just pushing it forwards. Just pushing it forwards until it pushes the flaps out of the way. And you get in, and you're done. All right. Remember this fella, right? It's the same thing. The only difference is, you're, instead of going from right side to left side, you're going... On the other boot, right side, the left side. So essentially, it's back and forth strokes. And, and circular strokes. With a toe, you kind of do both. You go over it initially, and then to give it a little bit more of a polish, you give it a little circle. Right. Don't know how that got in there. Anyway. Again, tongue. I'm just gonna face it toward me so it's easier. I'm trying to face it away from me so you guys can get a chance to actually see. There's no point in just watching something if you can't see what the hell I'm doing. Once again, same thing. Push your tongue forwards. See, looks like this. Put your hand in until you feel underneath the shoe, so your hand will look like that. You'll feel it as soon as your hand gets under. Push it. Push it forward, and it'll push those two flabs out of the way. If you haven't done them before, it'll probably give you a half a, cr a cramp and a half, but you'll get used to it. All right. Now, we go on to the next piece, which we we'll grab this bag, as I said. I really should not have closed this since it has half a habit. No one bug and open. There we go. Once again, it's the same amount, couple strokes now. I go from about halfway, so it's about here. Move my hand out of the way. About just where the stitching for the side of the boot meets the toe. And once again around the side. We're working it into the leather. 
Seems how, as I said, the toe is the piece that will receive the most abuse. Literally, I will say, the only piece I've never had abuse, the heel and the back piece. It's the one place that doesn't get abuse. The only abuse it gets is the wear from your walking. That's about it. And you don't need to re... Because you know, if you've done about four, if you've went over a little, that's fine. You can go straight over to this boot. You'll be able to dump about a tiny little third of it off. Because you'll be able to tell. You will tell. As soon as you see it, you'll be like, okay, I need to repolish. One, two. Polish it over. Beautiful. I was going to play music, you know, some decent punk music. But unfortunately, because the last time I played music, YouTube took one of my videos down and said, ah, no, how about not? How about you not do that? Uh, I decided let's not do that again. All right. Now we are done with this. Now, the reason why I did this is just sharing what I have learned, because I've learned this from other people. Polishing idea is from my dad. And once again, give it your little circle, these little circles I was talking about. A chance to move around. And then it's the back and forth, the lightest of touches. Kind of like a Bob Ross painting. You stab at the canvas and then you lift up. Whew, beautiful. Only difference is I'm not talking very slowly. And boom. And once again, with this one. All right, let's relace these bad boys. All right, so grab your lace. You want to grab whatever side. Take your take your aglet. That's the little tip right there. You take the first ring. You pull about I don't know about roughly a third, and you go straight up to the last ring on the other side. That's this ring here. So it becomes a little zig. First ring, sec, last ring. All right. You pull out about whatever you think's enough. You might have to readjust it later, because trust me, you will. Now let's create the straight lace. So essentially, the rest of this lace goes through every other ring. Now, again, you'll have to now. I wouldn't pull tight on these. First one you pull tight because you want that to stay there. But as soon as you get up to about here, I'd, once you get up to about here, I'd stop trying to pull it tight because then, unfortunately, you won't be able to get your damn foot in. That's when you start getting a little loose. And here, bada bing, bada boom. Now, I, because I'm going to be wearing these, Tomorrow, I'm not. I'm gonna stop two rings before, just like this. Give it a little pull. And then do what I do, jump the back for, do a little foot test. That's, no, that's what this piece is. It's not just for hanging them, not just for Instagrammers to hang them up. Perfect. You can slip them on, slip them off, and you know it's right. All right, let's quickly lace this bad boy. Now again, if you pull two less, you can always undo it and pull a little more. 
If you pull too much, again, you can always pull it down and pull it through the loops. That's what I like about laces. That's what I like about straight lacing. One, because it's an old tradition through punk style. Two, I don't know. It just looks better. I, Because I've done... Because I used to have doc, my docks in crisscross or diamond or whatever the hell. Uh, well, actually, I'll use my converse as an ex. I've had it done like this. And it looks alright. It looks alright. But there's something about that straight lace. It just makes it look so perfect. That's probably the word I'd use. And once again, perfect. All right. And if you're really wanting, I'll put them both on just real quick. If you're wanting another little added look, this is just a little added bonus if you want. I won't do the lace though because that'll take us a little bit. Pull them over. If you're wanting another punk look, do this. Now, this is my... These jeans don't come like this. They're normal jeans. You take them, you flip them up. And if they're still too long, hell, you can even flip them up again. I do it once, though. All right. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you polish slash straight lace a pair of Doc Martens. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me. If you like this video, go and hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell notification to be notified every time I upload. And a quick little prayer. God bless us. And I will say to my Uncle Stephen, who was taken away from us far too soon. He was taken away from us far too soon. We miss you very much. God bless you, Bongo. God bless you. All right.